it's been absolutely everything. It really has. This, this community is where I've grown up for so many years and throughout the years have met incredible people all over and it's not just shallow relationships. The relationships I've made in this community have been so deep. They've lasted for years and years and it's incredible to see those people again now who have been there all along, believing in me every step of the way and they are still here to congratulate me and support me. And I think that is so neat to see, to hopefully that the other boys and girls in our community feel that same support and encouragement. And I am so encouraged by that, knowing what kind of community we have and the amazing young people that we can raise and train and develop in a, in a group like this, in a community like this. And they say it takes a village to raise a child, and I think it really does take a community to raise a woman. And I certainly believe that what, that's what this community has done for me. What's free time in your new world? Like, define Teresa time for us. <laughs> um, let's see. It would be sightseeing when I can, when I'm, when I'm in interesting places. I like to go see new things, try new food, um, take some time in my hotel room um, to spend with God, um, read my Bible, um, get on the computer and connect with some friends, talk to people back home and, and get my daily scoop of Scott's Bluff and gossip and all that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just nice to, to have some time to process everything that's been going on. I'm keeping a journal this year of everything that's that happens so that I can re remember everything because it's, it goes so fast that many times I don't even remember what I was doing yesterday. But it's, it's nice to have that time to process everything and um, to just understand the, the ramifications of everything that I'm doing, really. Because sometimes I can get so caught up in everything that we're doing, busy events here and there, and forget that it's about reaching a greater audience. As Randy said, that now my impact has expanded significantly and that's something that sometimes I start to forget about and I just have to focus on realizing that every day that there are young girls all over watching me and it's an incredible feeling to have uh, but it's something that you need to take time to realize and focus on each day. What do you miss the most from home? Oh goodness! Well, I know the summer. I am going. I'm so going to miss hiking the monument since we live right there. Every summer, I would do that a couple times a week. I absolutely love being on the trails there. Um, I'm going to miss the county fair. I know that. I've been there every year, um, all week long. That is going to be huge for me. But um, really, the people. You know, coming in, driving in. Um, Yesterday, we drove by some neighborhoods that I had been delivering Meals on Wheels for the, the past six months and just remembering those experiences and those things I was able to do here in the community. Um, you, you certainly miss that, having so many people that are so close to you that you know so well. Because now we're traveling all over and there's so many people that you meet once and that's it, or you meet a couple times and, and you don't really have those deep relationships. But it's, it's certainly a different experience, but it's nice to know that that's always here. And that's not going to go away over the course of the year. And so although I miss it, again, it will, it will only be a year. And then I will be back um, to reconnect with everyone. And so I'm really looking forward to it. We'll accept two more questions. Teresa, before you, sorry. Uh, have, have you been able to talk to Robin, your piano teacher, yet? No, I haven't actually. Okay. I have no, I have not spoken with her since winning. What I mean, what kind of an influence was she to you? Obviously, she taught you a lot. Oh yes, absolutely. Um, growing up, <coughs> she was definitely second to my mother for quite a few years because, um, as I was going through a, a very shy, insecure stage through my younger years, I started piano at seven years old, and for many years that was all. I really wanted to do because it was a one-on-one -on -one thing. Um, I, I trusted her, I had that relationship with her. She was always very patient with me and taught me a lot. Um, and, and so that was something that was very important to me was, was piano and music. And so she taught me that for many, many years. And then, and then growing out of that, I started to expand my interests, but she was always there by my side. And one thing that I always appreciated about her was her flexibility and again, willingness to, to try new things, to embrace differences. For me, she knew that I wanted to use piano for pageants, so she would specifically search and find pieces that she knew would be, would be powerful and dynamic, and she wasn't worried about only teaching me classical and Baroque music to get my technique down. She knew that I wanted to do it for performance. And so now I so appreciate that because 
I was able to use it for what I wanted to use it for. And I know I'm never going to be a concert pianist, but it's a hobby and I love it. And she knew that. And she was willing to support that in every way. Is there added excitement or maybe even pressure knowing that you're the first Miss Nebraska to become Miss America? Well, I certainly hope that it's, that it's not pressure on future Miss Nebraskas. I know that I felt a little pressure because Brittany Jeffers had done so well last year. <laughs> and so I was thinking, well, I better get past that. I've got big shoes to fill. And so I certainly don't want that kind of pressure to be on future Miss Nebraskas. But let me tell you, we have great girls competing in the system right now. I know we're going to find many more great girls to join. And so I think we can look forward to some fantastic Miss Nebraska's and I'm absolutely honored to be the first one but I will not be the last one I know we'll have many more Miss Americas coming from this area thank you so much uh, we'll have a little uh, opportunity for you to take some individual pictures if you would like of Teresa um, I do want to thank the Hampton Inn of Scott's Bluff for providing this space for us um, Becca is here as the general manager uh, of the hotel, and they've also provided um, some food and beverages for you, so please enjoy those after. So, and we'll sneak one into the limo for you. <laughs> <laughs> she, said, she said she never passes a cookie along the way, so we'll make sure that happens. So, uh, if, uh, if anyone would like to take some individual pictures, uh, feel free at this time. We'll move off to the side here, and uh, that will conclude our time. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Bye, Peter.